Hello, my name is Marcefon. I'm a classical guitar player and thank you so much for uploading my last video on getting started on online teaching. If you haven't seen it, it might be very useful to you for teaching or learning online these days. Aside from being a musician, on my free time I enjoy learning a bunch of things. And one of the things that I've kind of mastered through the last decade, let's say, would be website building. So as some of you might know, I have my own online academy on my website, but I've also built the online academy and website of Maestro Carlo Marchione. And I've seen from the reactions in my last video that you're all interested to know a little bit more about booking your services or your lessons or whatever it is that you want to do through your website. So today I'm going to show you how I made my website to start accepting bookings and online payments so that you can apply the same system for yourself and start booking your concerts, your master classes or your students. So I will make two parts of this video because if I don't go a little bit in detail, it's not going to be very useful for you. So when this video finishes, you will find the link of the second part of my channel. On the other hand, if you don't have a website and you also do not plan to make one in the near future, you can also check the video I made on the best five scheduling apps that you can use to kind of substitute this booking system without having a website. If you're curious, you will find the video on my channel. If you think that this content will benefit anybody that you know, please feel free to share this video and I will be super happy if that continues helping other people. I created my website with this platform. As you can see in my website, people can book my services, which in this case is guitar private one-to-one -one lessons. If you see the pricing page here on my site, instead of offering single lessons that would be, let's say, a single product, I offer a membership as my regular students can benefit a lot more from the content inside this site that is only available to them. The idea behind for me is that I didn't want them to have only the guitar lesson, but to keep learning with all the content that I regularly publish there. But for the sake of this video, let me show you the trial lesson that I offer just that you see how your booking process will look like if you make your website following my steps. So the trial lesson or single lesson that you see in here are simple services, which is what I'm going to show you how to make today. And as you can see, once you select what you want to book, let's suppose we take this one, it shows you a calendar availability, which this is synced in the back end with my agenda and will show you on real time the availability that I have. The great thing of this is that automatically what happens is I set the hours that I want to teach, let's say from 10 in the morning until nine in the night, so the people who are trying to book from another time zone, they will automatically see the hours that corresponds to them, given the availability that is in my calendar. So they don't have to bother knowing which time zone I am or calculate any time difference. After you have selected the desired day and time, you will fill in a form with your details, which you can totally personalize. And the next step is already the checkout. Wix actually provides integration with PayPal, Stripe, Alipay or credit and debit card, Ideal, which is something that we use here very much in the Netherlands, and bank transfer or even the option to pay in cash if the service is on location. You can also ask for an upfront payment so that they can pay the half of the lesson beforehand when they book and then the rest when they get the lesson. So in this sense, I am very satisfied with the checkout experience with Wix. It's super simple. All you need to do is to have the PayPal account or the Stripe account and it just syncs super, super easy. Okay, so let's get started with what is Wix. Wix is a platform that allows users to create HTML websites and mobile site websites with drag and drop tools. So I've been using Wix for about 10 years and I started because it felt like really easy being that this drag and drop is very visual so you don't need to feel like you need any coding or any previous experience at all so and that's why i recommend because i know that most of the persons who are watching now they are not going to be studying coding even though now wix offers a developer mode which comes in super handy because if you want extra personalization you can use coding and that's really nice because through the time as you get to know it more you have the possibility to do bigger and more complex things so basically the learning curve of Wix, I think it's really soft. It's very intuitive and well, as any website building thing, it just needs time for the design, for the creation, but in itself, it's quite simple. This video is not sponsored. I pay myself also for my website. At first, it might seem a little bit expensive, 
but having had the experience and the years of having everything with the wigs i can tell you that i pay gladly the money that i pay them also because they keep developing everything that they have so i'm very satisfied with them because it's a very very steady platform it gives you a very good product every time it's more and more powerful so it's not anymore just a little drag and drop portfolio website you can really do actually very cool sites and rather complex with it honestly having weak steam that solves any bug or any issue behind and you don't have to spend the time for doing it yourself i think it's a big plus and a huge save of time for most of us otherwise you can also check squarespace or wordpress but more or less they are about the same prices if not a bit more expensive but just to be clear this is not going to be a tutorial on how to build step by step your website even though if you want me to do that i could do it in another video but i will have to do a much longer dedicated video for that instead i'm going to be showing you the setup process of the bookings and the payments for the bookings so that you can see it in action and decide if that's a platform that you want to invest time for designing your next website so to get started all you need to create is an account and log into your user page from here you create a new site and select what relates to your site that closes but don't worry that will not make any difference unless in the second step you want wix adi make a site for you basically what they do is to make some questions and according to your answers they will design the page distribution for your site i personally don't recommend this unless you have zero design idea how you want your site to look like because in the long run when you get more advanced with it it's harder to work on templates as they have kind of limitations of fonts and things chosen for you and you basically end up trying to undo what the template has rather than just working out your website on your way so for most cases just go with create your website with wix editor once you will click it it will bring you to this page where you can view lots of designs and select one as your starting point this is already a better option in my opinion rather than the ADA system as you can pick and choose from already made sites and for a beginner that might help and guide quite a bit yet what I prefer doing if you have a bit more of experience or ideas of how you want your site to look like is taking a blank page so that you can set everything from scratch no templates and no limits to your creativity as an idea you can use the templates to imitate designs if there is any page that you wish to have a similar design so for my website i took a blank page then i looked up for some nice design ideas and according to the media and the photos and the, the stuff that i had or that i could create i went for one option or another that's a nice way to find inspiration to create your site and make it nicer so then basically it opens your white canvas and from here you're ready to start creating your page this is the step that we will skip because otherwise this tutorial could last easily a couple of hours so in the second part i'm going to show you from an already made website how we start to add the bookings and the payments and set everything up for you to start getting booked and pay through your own website You'll find the link in the description. And if you have any questions so far, please feel free to write me and let me know in the comments below if you're a musician, if you have your own website, if you made it, if so, in which platform, and if you made it yourself or you got somebody to make it for you. It would be interesting to see how many of us we actually take these steps of creating it ourselves.